Hello and welcome to the group exhibit Hydrogen Fuel Cells at the Hanover Messe 2012. Today I'm going to be talking to Clear Edge Power. It's their first attendance at the group exhibit Hydrogen Fuel Cells. Please welcome to the stage Russell Ford, the CEO. Hi, Russell. Thank you. So we're going to be talking today about the commercialization of Clear Edge Power's fuel cells. Yes. So, but first of all, maybe tell us a little bit about Clear Edge Power. Sure. Uh, Clear Edge Power is a privately held technology company that specializes in the design and manufacture of distributed power systems that make both heat and electricity. Okay, so, so what are continuous on-site power systems and um, why are they so important in the changing energy landscape? Well, the energy landscape, uh, not uncommon to all commercially developed areas of the world, are really constrained by a number of features. First of all, the demand is increasing. It's increasing for two primary reasons. In commercially developed areas, it's increasing because of the fundamental shift of products away from mechanical products towards electric products. And in uh, non-commercially developed arenas, the primary driver for electricity demand and growth has been urbanization of population. Uh, as a result, not only are the prices going up, but people really need a dependable, predictable method for having power that is, in fact, affordable. So our products become part of that solution, working in conjunction with other alternative energy solutions. Fantastic. Um, and so what are the, some of the advantages of your systems? Well, the advantages of our products are uh, very simple. First, they're cheaper. Second, they're cleaner. And third, they're continuous. So to handle each one of those independently, first of all, uh, utilizing fuel cell technology, we have the ability to develop both heat and power using very efficient processing, greater than 90% total efficiency, which leads to a reduction of fuel usage by as much as 40% to make the same amount of electricity and power. So much cheaper than what conventional methods of making heat and power would result in today. Second is much cleaner than conventional power uses. Uh, if you look at the way power is generated today, there's a number of byproducts of the, of the power production that's generated predominantly because of combustion that's involved. The combustion in natural gas fired plants and in coal burning power plants generates a series of environmentally harmful reactants. You end up with nitrogen oxide, sulfuric oxides, uh, greenhouse gases, carbon dioxide, volatile organic compounds, particulate matter, a number of things that our products, because they don't actually combust anything, we're simply using a natural resource that's available, which is either biogas or natural gas, and we're extracting the hydrogen that is in existence, and then we use that hydrogen to create electricity without any burning. So it's a lot cleaner than conventional methods of power generation. And then finally, the other thing that's very important is our products provide continuous baseload power. Now, compared to other forms of alternative energy, that's been one of the weaknesses in the past has been the intermittent nature of these products. Uh, our product runs both with and without the grid, so it can operate when uh, it can operate critical loads when the grid goes away. So you have continuous true base load power. Yeah, fantastic. And your products are available on the market today. Yes, our products. Uh, first of all, our products have been uh, in development for nearly a decade. They've been running in field trials since 2007, more than five years, and they've been commercially available in the U.S. Uh, and now South Korea, and now coming to Europe. They've been commercially available for some two years now. So, so why are you coming to Europe? Why are you targeting the European market? Europe is a, is a great market, and we're finally ready to be here. Uh, in the European market, what we find is uh, the energy prices are conducive to this type of technology. The policy is very forward and progressive here in Europe. Uh, Austria, Germany is an excellent place for us to start. And uh, there's also an abundance of natural resources here, working in conjunction with our partners uh, at Goosing Renewable Energy, who have developed uh, 
uh, parallel technology which takes uh, natural resources and converts them into biogas. So there's plenty of natural resources here to be able to create a totally renewable solution. Yeah, maybe you can tell us a little bit more about your partnership um, with Goosing Renewable Energy. Yes. Uh, Goosing Renewable is a company located in the town of Goosing, about two hours away from Vienna. And uh, they have been in development and production of biogas uh, using the renewable uh, wood that's in and around that area uh, of the country. And what we, we know about Goosing is that uh, they have a portfolio of products. And these products not only include biogas, but they also include battery technology and storage technology. That in conjunction with our product, which has the ability to convert the biogas into usable heat and power, makes for a very nice combined integrated solution. I think one of the things that may be a little bit different now versus a few years ago is you'll find that in the marketplace there have been a number of independent technologies that have been developed. There's biogas, there is ways of converting uh, different types of, of uh, uh, a feedstock into energy and power. There are storage devices, different technologies for that. And I think all of these technologies have been developed independently. But what people really need is they need an integrated solution. So uh, our product is part of that integrated solution that allows you to create uh, all the way from a renewable resource all the way through energy storage and energy release through fuel cell technology that can match the varying demand that people will see and uh, uh, you know we're really excited about being able to offer this product into the European market now. Yes and I have, who are you working with right now? Who are some of your customers that you are? Our primary launch market has been in the market segments which include uh, both commercial uh, industrial as well as residential applications and they would include such segments as education, hospitality, uh, multi-tenant. So a few examples might be in the educational arena. Uh, we have a number of colleges and universities in the U.S. Uh, San Diego State University uh, recently purchased a number of our fuel cells to be used in a new dormitory project that they're building. And by the use of our fuel cells in conjunction with the solar system that they have installed, they were able to use a more efficient solar array and take nearly a million dollars worth of cost out of their budget by using the solar in conjunction with the fuel cell for base load power. We also have units operating in uh, a number of uh, high schools in Irvine, which is a uh, suburb of Los Angeles. Uh, two schools there have installed 12 of our units and they expect to expand that to 60 other schools that they have in their school district. Uh, we have units operating in the hospitality arena in a number of hotels. Uh, the Lafayette Hotel is a famous hotel in the town of San Diego, which is on the National Historic Registry. They have eight of our units that are operating. Uh, we have a number of senior assisted living facilities and apartment complexes operating in, in and around the San Francisco area. So any applications that fit between 5 and 100 kilowatts per hour of power output, this is the ideal application for our type of solution which is modular in nature and can be adapted to meet whatever the current demand and the future growth is expected to be for our customers. Fantastic. And how many units do you have? Um installed right now globally? We have more than a hundred units installed uh, currently in the US and in South Korea and uh, we expect to be increasing that number significantly here uh, in Europe and we're very excited to bring these uh, units like I said first to Austria and to Germany so this will be our launch location for the European market. Great because you are experiencing a great momentum. Tell us a bit more about that. Yes uh, our product is the beneficiary of 20 years worth of development work that has gone into fuel cells from a number of manufacturers. And really what, what has brought this product into being now are uh, a number of items that are reaching maturity. First of all, uh, the materials that are available today simply were not available 10 years ago. 
the sensor arrays that are available today and the control systems that are available today were simply not available 10 years ago. Uh, as consumers, we see that ourselves just looking at the computing requirements. If, if you compare the laptop computer that you have today to the one that you had 10 years ago, I think you'd admit that the one you have today is quite a lot better than the one you had 10 years ago. Not just a little bit, but quite a lot. And the materials and the technology that we're using in our products, again, are the beneficiary of uh, those decades worth of work. And as a result, we're able to field a product now that is very durable, very reliable, and very cost efficient. Fantastic. I want to invite the audience to also maybe ask some questions. I know you had a technical forum yesterday um, where we went into more detail about the specifications of your yes. unit. But maybe um, I want to invite you all to maybe ask a question. Now is your chance. Of course, you can also go and continue the conversation at um, the booth at D68, which is just over there. But are there any questions right now? It's a great opportunity to maybe... Stop. Yes, I'll bring the mic to you. Good morning, Tilo Scharf. Morning. You, you've been mentioning uh, it's possible to make storage with a, a system. Is it possible for small parties like in family houses or three or four family houses to establish a storage system from regenerable energies and then to burn this fuel in the same uh, equipment then later on when the energy is needed? Yes, good question. Thank you. Um, our product can be installed as part of a solution. So it's not just a box, it's part of a total solution. That solution would take into account the demand for whatever the application is, whether it's residential or whether it's light commercial. Uh, we would look at the demand and we would also look at the profile for how that uh, energy is being used. And then based upon that, uh, typically what we would do is size our product to meet the average demand load and then you can either use an additional storage device to help through the peaking periods uh, which is typically what happens and allows you to to more closely match the total energy usage now our product itself uh, is not designed as an energy storage device it's designed as a continuous power you know a base load power so part of the solution would be uh, a separate module if you want to add some type of a storage device. And those products are available through our partnership with uh, Goosing Renewable. Thank you. Do we, we have time for one last question? Fo follow up question? Oh, follow up. That would be water heat storage facilities, I mainly are. Typically, they're battery storage facilities. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, I'm afraid we are nearly out of time, but maybe there's one last quick question. Well, I think it's very clear, and I think um, everyone is invited to your to your booth Good. to meet you. Good. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Appreciate the opportunity and glad to talk about the advances in this technology and commercial products that are now available. There is an end to all of the uh, development work that goes on with this type of technology. And in 1967, people did not necessarily believe that the microwave oven would become what it is today. In 1980, people didn't believe that the cell phone would become what it is today. And I'm sure there are many people that don't yet believe that fuel cell technology has reached the level of maturity and commercialization that it has. Soon they will be believers as well. Thank you, Kim. Fantastic. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Okay, well, stay seated because up next we have um, JX Nippon Oil and Energy Corporation, and they're going to be talking about um, the solid oxide fuel cell micro CHP system. Thank you.